Hi, this is gonna be a quick intro. Uh, this video is called Pokemon Fanboy Tries to Learn Pokemon TCG. I got the Pokemon Elite Trainer Box Pokemon Trading Card Game Rules. We're gonna learn how to play Pokemon. Uh, if I'm one of those kids who collects the Pokemon cards. A couple seconds ago, I actually made the Pokemon Elite Trainer Box. Um. Unboxing and review. These are all my Pokemon cards. I know I have binders, but until this band holding it snaps, then I'm gonna use those. Those are reserved for later. Um, yeah, but we're th this we're, we're reading this. So yeah, we're gonna start now. This is gonna be a longer format of videos, but it's, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick. Okay. Here it says, you're a Pokemon trainer. You travel across the land battling other trainers with your Pokemon, creatures that love to battle and have amazing powers, become a Pokemon master. These rules will tell you everything you need to play the these rules will tell you everything you need to play the Pokemon trading card game. Your deck of cards will represent your Pokemon as well as items and allies that'll help you on your adventure. Trading cards are games uh, trading card games are strategy based and used to I we don't really need these. Energy types. Energy types. Pokemon knockout. Posing Pokemon by using attacks or abilities. To power their attacks, the Pokemon needs energy cards. The Pokemon TCG has 11 energy types. You will find matching all 11 types in the game. No, there are no fairy type Pokemon cards in the Pokemon Sword and Shield, but they do exist in older expansions. Each energy type powers different. Each energy type powers different attacks. Find one that matches your personality and the or the energy types are. Grass. Grass type Pokemon often have attacks that heal themselves, or make their opponent poisoned. Fire type Pokemon have big attacks that make their opponents burned, but their attacks need time to build up. Water type Pokemon can manipulate energy and move Pokemon around to the other team. Lightning lightning type Pokemon can bring back used energy from the discard pile and they can make their opponent paralyzed. Psychic types. Psychic are great for pow their powers. Special powers. Their opponents often find themselves asleep, confused, or poisoned. Those are the f oh, there's a lot more. Fighting. A fighting type Pokemon can take bigger risks to do extra damage, and you can flip some coins for combination hits. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not going through all of this. You, if you're if you're here, <laughs> I move my mic. If you're here, you probably already know Pokemon. I'm not explaining Pokemon to you. Parts of a Pokemon card: the Pokemon type, HP, card name, stage. Evolved from Pokemon, expansion symbol, collector card number. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know, we know, right? We're, we're familiar with the rules. Three card types. You'll find three types of card in the Pokemon PCG. Pokemon. Of course, most important are Pokemon. Most of these cards are basic Pokemon. Um, are basic Pokemon. Stage 1 or Stage 2 Pokemon? Stage 1 and Stage 2 Pokemon. Wait, what? <laughs> are also called Evolution Cards. Look at the upper left corner and you'll see Pokemon Stage and the Pokemon that evolved from any. One second, I have to hold the door. I dropped a bunch of dice again! This is really frustrating. I'm dropping dice! It's the worst. There, we got it. We're good. We got it. We're nice. <laughs> okay. 
And here it just shows a little thing where it's like showing the evolution line for the grass type starters of um, the Galar region. Energy cards. Most of the time, Pokemon can't attack without energy cards. You'll need to match those symbols. Attack card. Okay. Trainer cards. Um, they're like the cards with people on it. There's, they like put here. They like put way too much. Where like it's easier for me to explain it. Like basically, it's like <laughs> like people or items on the card that help if you're like to like draw cards and they basically help they basically help you during battle zones of pokemon tcg hand each player draws seven cards at the beginning of the game and keeps their own hand hidden cards you can draw go into their hand players may not look at your opponent's hand unless a card says so okay okay got it Prize cards. Each, each player has their own prize cards. Prize cards are six cards that each player sets aside, face down to the top of their own deck while setting up to play. When you knock out an opposing Pokemon, you take one of the prize cards and put it into your hand. If you're the first one to take the last prize card, you win. Got it. Playing the game. Pokemon TCG games are fast and furious. Good reference. Nice reference. Let's go. <laughs> Pokemon TCG games for Fast and Furious. Here's a summary to play right away. How to win a game. You can win the game in three ways. Take all your prize cards. Knock out your opponent's in-play Pokemon. If your opponent has no cards in their deck at the beginning of their turn. Setting up to play. Shake hands with an opponent. Flip a coin. The winner of the coin decides which player to go first. Shuffle your 60 card deck. And draw the top seven cards. Check if you see have any basic Pokemon in your hand. Okay, good, good. Let's go. One sec, I have something to deal with. Corner of your basic Pokemon face down as your active Pokemon. Put five more basic Pokemon to face down on your bench. Put the top six cards off to the side and face down. And face down as your prize card. Both players flip their active and benched Pokemon face up and start the game. I'm sorry, I'm really out of breath. <laughs> If you don't have a basic Pokemon, what do you do? First, reveal your hand to your opponent, and shuffle your hand back into your deck. Then, draw seven more cards. If you still don't have any basic Pokemon, repeat. Each time your opponent shuffles their hand back into their deck because they have no basic Pokemon, may draw an extra card. Nice. Sorry, there's an ambulance outside and that really sounded like a trap beat. <laughs> part of a turn. Each turn has three main parts. One, draw a card. Two, do any of the following actions in order. Put basic Pokemon cards from your hand onto your bench as many as you want. B, evolve Pokemon as many as you want as well. C, attach an energy card from your hand. So one per turn. Player play trainer cards as many as you want, but only one support card and one stadium card per turn. Retreat your active Pokemon only once per turn and use abilities as many as you want. 
then attack, then end your turn. Okay, okay. Got, Got it. it. That's the school. Cool. Cool. We're cool. <laughs> It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to continue. For actions. Draw a card. Start your turn by drawing a card. If there are no cards in the deck at the beginning of your turn, then you can... And you cannot draw a card, the game is over, and your opponent wins. Do any of these in order... A. Put a basic Pokemon cards from your hand onto your bench, as many as you want. Choose a basic Pokemon card from your hand and put it up in your face on your bench. The bench can hold up to five Pokemon. Basic Pokemon on bench. Here's a little, like... Little, basic Pokemon on the bench. It's nothing, it's nothing too, too big. So, so, yeah, we'll, we'll continue. Basic Pokemon on bench. B. Evolve Pokemon as many as you want. If you have a card in your hand that says evolve from X, and X is the name of a Pokemon you have had in play in the beginning of your turn, you may place that card in your hand on top of the Pokemon X. It's called evolving a Pokemon. You may evolve a basic Pokemon to stage 1 or Pokemon to stage Wait, what? You may evolve basic Pokemon to a stage 1 Pokemon or a stage 1 Pokemon to a stage 2 Pokemon. When a Pokemon evolves, they keep it keeps all attached cards, energy cards, evolution cards, etc., and damage counters on it. Any effects or attacks on special conditions affecting the Pokemon, such as asleep, confused, or poisoned, when it evolves, a Pokemon cannot use the attack or abilities of its previous evolution unless the card says so. Cool. Example. The Poltergeist card in Susan's hand reads, Evolve from Sinistee, and Susan has a Sinistee in play. She may play the Poltergeist card on top of the Sinistee card. Keeping any damage counters and clearing all other effects. Okay, it gave an example. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. That's... Sorry, my mic is bugging me. Evolution, though. Neither player can evolve Pokemon on its first turn in play. When you evolve a Pokemon, it means that Pokemon is new in play. So you can't evolve it a second time in the same turn. You can evolve Pokemon in play with its active or benched. Finally, neither player can involve Pokemon on its player first until a card says so. See, attach. See, and attach an energy card to one of your Pokemon once per turn. Take an energy card from your hand and put it under your active Pokemon or one of your benched Pokemon to indicate that its energy can it can use. You just attach an energy. You can attach. Energy just once each turn. D. Play trainer cards. When you play a trainer card, do what it says and obey the rule at the bottom of the card. Then put in the discard pile. You can play as many items as you like. Supporter cards are played like item cards, but you can only play one supporter card. Yeah, but you can only play one supporter card each turn. Rule change. Starting with a sword and shield series, the player who goes first cannot play a supporter card on their first turn. Okay. Stadium cards have a, special, a few special rules. Stadium says a stadium stays in play when you play it. Only one stadium can be in play at a time, and if a new one comes into play, it's called the old one and end its effects. You cannot play a stadium card if a stadium is in the same name. You cannot, wait. You cannot play a stadium card if a stadium with the same name is already in play. Okay. You can only play one stadium card each turn. Each turn. E, retreat your active Pokemon once per turn. On most turns, you will probably not retreat, but if your active Pokemon has lots of damage counters on it, you might want to retreat it and bring it out the Pokemon from the bench to fight instead. You may also want to do this if you have a strong Pokemon on the bench or yeah, bench ready to battle. To retreat, you must discard one energy from your active Pokemon for each 
listed on its recruit cost. If no colored list are listed, it recruits for free. Then you switch that recruiting Pokemon to a Pokemon from your bench. It keeps all the damage counters and attached cards with each Pokemon when they switch. Pokemon that are asleep or paralyzed cannot recruit. Oh, okay. When your active Pokemon goes to your bench when it gets recruited in some other way, something to go away. Special conditions and effects from your attack. If you're a tree, you can still attack a turn for your next Pokemon. This is going to be like the last page that I'm actually going to do. Five. <laughs> use your abilities as many as you want. Some Pokemon have special abilities they can use. Many of them can be used before you attack. Each special ability is different though. So read carefully and see how each one works. So, in a condition is met while each of. Wait. I think I need. Like, I can't read. I think I need the wisdom of. I'm back now. I need the wisdom of it. It has helped me read. Some Pokemon have special abilities they can use. Many of them can be used before you attack. Each ability is different though, so read carefully and see how each one works. Some work can only, some work only if a condition is met, while other work at the time without even using them. Be sure to announce which abilities you are using so your opponent knows what you're doing. Remember, abilities aren't attacks, so if you can still attack and if you can still attack if you use an ability you can't use abilities from both of your active and benched pokemon i'm sorry guys this is gonna be like the end because i just don't have much motivation to read this and um yeah so Thank you so much for watching this dumb video about a Pokemon fanboy learning how to play TCG. So, remember, this is really nice that you guys are watching my videos. And really cool that I'm actually getting cool, good views on them. So, um... Bye. Boop, 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 boop.